Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, and welcome to the Valder BB Show podcast. Today, I'm talking to one of my favorite tech experts, Andrea Smith. Andrea, welcome back. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Well, I thought this was an important subject. It's about the 3G shutdown. I know we are now into 5G territory. Tell me, why is this being phased out? Well, it's being phased out because technology is evolving. I mean, if you think about it, what we do has changed. Um, We used to listen to music on cassettes. Uh, We used to listen to music on CDs. Now we stream our music on our phones. We watch videos right on our phones. Cellular networks are evolving too. And now 15 years after that first iPhone 3G came out, those older 3G networks can't support the way we use our phones today. So by turning off those networks, cell phone companies can use that bandwidth for newer technologies with 5G that have greater capacity and faster speeds. As we migrate from 3G to 5G, who's gonna be the losers? And what I mean by this, are there any devices that won't make it to 5G? Well, I mean, the older 3G devices won't, but there are so many benefits to 5G. 5G can run between 10 and 100 times faster than a typical 4G connection. So you're going to see much faster downloads. Wireless companies are investing big in building out their 5G networks. In fact, T-Mobile was the first wireless company in the U.S. to launch nationwide. And thanks to their merger with Sprint, they've got the largest, fastest, and most reliable 5G network, according to the latest benchmarks. So you're just going to get really much more capacity and much faster speed. How will the 5G uh, impact airplanes, we'll say, home alarm systems, uh, medical devices? So there were a lot of news stories about that. And basically, it's really not something that consumers need to worry about. I mean, the wireless industry and the aviation industry are working together to ensure that when this rollout is complete at the end of this year, that they're, they are going to ensure everyone's safety. Okay, I'm going to take this one from Instagram. I see it on my screen. They want to know with their current home alarm system, Will they need to upgrade or buy a whole new one? I know you're not a technical expert in that area, but that's a good question. So I think that's really going to depend on their carrier and their home alarm system. You know, everything is different. Everybody's carrier is different. Coverage is different in different areas. Um, But from what my understanding is, is that, um, you know, 5G is going to, bring in so much more bandwidth and capacity that I think, you know, a lot of places are just going to update their firmware. You know, it's all really going to depend what's going to happen. But um, for for most users, for most cell phone users, it's something that's just going to give you a lot of opportunity to have newer technology with much greater speed. Okay. Well, let me take this one from Twitter. They want to know, I don't know if you can answer this, They want to know about their pacemaker. (laughs) Will a pacemaker be affected? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not able to give any kind of medical information, but I can tell you that if you have a 3G phone right now, an older 3G phone, um, most providers are going to be offering free phones to replace those older 3G phones. 
I would really recommend upgrading to a 5G phone if you can to take full advantage of the faster 5G network. So I think your audience should really look at their phone plans, especially if they're on a limited data plan and they might want to stream videos and, and music. Um, and also, you know, some providers have plans with amazing built-in benefits. For example, T-Mobile subscribers get free international data roaming. Many plans include Netflix and in-flight Wi-Fi with streaming. So there's all kinds of benefits here to the smartphone user that I think are going to just make so many people um, so much happier when they when they see the speeds and the capacity that they're going to get. And I'd like to the poster about pacemaker that's a question for your doctor also too not for technology experts like andrea andrea i want to thank you so very much where can we find out more because 5g is fast approaching yeah so people should do their research and you know really talk to their carriers and find out what do you have what's in my area look at it as an opportunity to upgrade your phone get a new plan, really, um, you know, find out what's right for you. Because I think a lot of people are going to be surprised to see how much has changed in the last 15 years. Well, I'm so excited about the opportunity for us to move our lives forward. I hope this becomes one of the best things that's ever happened to us as consumers. I want to thank you so much, Andrea, for always coming to the Valder BB Show with great information. Thank you, Valder. Thanks for having me. Enjoy your day. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I've partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.